Hi guys, OB Dave here. <laughs> no. 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 What's up with you? Is it all the pain fumes? <laughs> no. I just, I've done a lot of serious adulting at work and I just need to be silly and let it loose. Is that okay? I've done adulting today. <laughs> <laughs> I had an exam that was all about initial yeah, verification been, and testing that. and inspection of electrical systems. But you, you've done student adulting. Yeah. Mine's professionals adulting. <laughs> oh, so <old. laughs> uh, Who are you, though? You've not even said who you are. Fuck I sake. did, I said. No. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. I am Ash, and he's going to kill me. <laughs> If you don't see me on the next video, you know what's happened. I need you more people watch when you're on the video, <laughs> so I can't get rid of you just yet. And I'm paying for... Like, and you're paying me <laughs> most of the bills That'd at the moment. sugar mama. Yeah, yeah. Although there's a big lottery on my dad's birthday on Saturday, and Ooh. they're making something like 12 UK millionaires, and then there's a big jackpot, so we'll see what happens. Uh, right then, Conan and Jordan Schlansky's escape... Room. Escape the room? Escape, escape the room. The room. It, it, I think that's like what they're called. It, it is an escape room, but I think maybe elsewhere they call them escape the room. It's like it's like over here, you guys call it laser tag. You know, no, the, we don't. You don't call it laser no, tag? No, we don't. Laser quest. Ah, I thought it was the other way around. Laser tag. Back home, we, used to, America, call, no, we used to call it laser tag at home as well. It's we laser tag in America, isn't it? It's our, also in Zimbabwe. We used to call it laser tag, whereas yeah. here it's laser quest. Yeah, I think Laser Quest may have been the company that you went to to do laser tag or something, but we always called it Laser Quest. When we were kids. Everyone calls things differently in different countries, don't they? So it'll be mm. escape room. You've just described language. Conan and Jordan Schlansky escaped the room. Are you ready for it? Yes. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Do a little subscribe just to sort me out, please. Just pop a little subscribe down and there. Make, it, make it all out, worth and it. And don't forget to check out Patreon. <laughs> Ball bag. Hello, Conan O'Brien here. And I'm in downtown Los Angeles in the fashion district because I want to try this brand new fad that's sweeping the nation. It's called an escape room. Basically, you get a bunch of your friends, you go into a room, you're locked inside, there are clues and puzzles, and you all have to work together to figure your way out of the room. I wanted to bring my friends and try it. Unfortunately, they were all busy. So I brought my producer, Jordan Schlansky. Hey, Jordan. How are you? You want to help me? You think we can get work together and get out of the escape room? My mind Would works. Would you take in... sunglasses off, please? I took my, I whipped mine off dramatically. Can you whip them off dramatically? We're standing outside. Just in whip Southern them off. California. Whip them off dramatically. That's not that. No, like this. Put them on. Now whip them off. <laughs> Hopeless. Let's get in. If you can't get your glasses off, how are we going to get out of the escape room? <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, we've just met Stephanie, is that right? Stephanie. Hey, yeah. Stephanie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, what's the fastest time that a group has gotten out of this room? 47 minutes. 47. I think we will beat that record. In general, are you good at solving riddles and puzzles? I think with my powers of observation and deduction, in combination with your proclivity for academics, we'll be a strong team. Okay. He's sort of the so spark to my crew. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. Each room has a different theme. Which room are you going to put us in? Did he just backhandedly call Conan clever? He basically did. He did, didn't he? He did. That was like, it was a backhanded compliment. It was, right? but it, it, I love his, obviously, the character, the persona he puts on for, obviously, Jordan Schlansky, uh, the producer, because he's, he's just, he's so dry, and he's almost a little bit like, I suppose he's, he's, he's a little bit like Spock. That's what they just said. Oh, I didn't That's hear that literally part. the joke they just I made. I didn't hear him say that. I was laughing. Is that right? Puzzles. I think with my powers of observation and deduction, in combination with your proclivity for academics, we'll be a strong team. Okay. He's sort of the spark to my curve. <laughs> I, ah, yeah. I didn't hear that. Each room has a Plagiarism. I, I didn't Plagiarism. hear it. I did not hear There's it. There's no way that's a coincidence. I honestly, I've thought about it a few times with the, the last few videos we've watched with Jordan and I thought he's just been like Spock and his obsession with Star Wars and, and obviously having the figures and things. Not Star Wars, Star, Star Trek. Oh my God. 
Yeah, yeah. It's a different theme. Stop Which track. room are you going to put us in? I'm putting you in the detective. And in what era is this? The 1940s. 1940s. Correct. How common is it for people who are about to play the game to dress in period clothing? Mm, it's not very common. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. Do you want to try an accent or anything? I believe in the 1940s, people spoke much as they do now. What you're mentioning was a media affectation. Yeah. Okay, it takes the fun out of anything. The this looks like a real 1940s detective's office. And who is this right here? That's the secretary. This is the secretary? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> At this moment, she's doing more than my assistant ever does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Her name's Sona. She just kind of... She watches The Bachelor a lot at her desk. All right, so I'm gonna set this timer for one hour. Have fun, and I guess you're gonna get out in 46 minutes. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm the detective secretary. I had to give this to you, and that's very important. So you finally made it. I had a visit the other day from an old friend, an old blonde friend. This dame hasn't changed a bit. She's still as cold as a July in Frisco. This guy is not funny. Help me as I figure out which of those gangsters goons is behind the jewel thefts. That's the first thing we have to do. You're wasting you time. I've read this thing three times already. We've already lost five minutes. <laughs> 20% of our time. We need you're to work quickly. You're being we asshole. need to work quickly and survey the room. There are many objects here. It's visually stimulating and very complex. I think we need to break this down and understand what lies ahead of us. Three, Stop two, about three, it. two. This will get you started. This puzzle, it says three, two, three, two at the top. So I'm gonna circle every third. Then I'm gonna circle every second. I've left something. Go ahead. Under. Under, skip ahead. Under, under. There's the uh, under. under. My typewriter. Watch out. Ah! First, this is it. This is the first key. What's it Shortest say? Shortest guy does not wear the smallest shoes. This key opened up this drawer. Suspects. Here we go. Shoe, shoe size. I've never done an escape room, but no, actually it was pretty fun. I've always wanted to do it, but we need enough people. I know he, they're doing it, just the two of them, but they've got someone in the room, obviously, like the secretary. I think we'd fall out if it was just the two of I us. I don't think we would. I think we'd be like, no, just, we'd both go on our own tangents because we both think we know. But that can work. I've seen escape rooms where people go into separate areas and then they meet up with the evidence or the, you know, right. the clues that they've found. I don't think we'd fall out. There is a great episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia that's in about about an escape room that Ash hasn't seen yet. And we're doing full episode watch-alongs on yeah. Patreon at the moment. Season three, episode six is coming out. So we're getting through it. Yeah, we but are. But yeah, there's an escape room one that's great. Okay. The guy with the shoe size 11 is either Peanuts Romanello or is from Hollywood. The guy from Boyle Heights is six feet tall. Johnny Tomatoes is not from Hollywood. And neither is the guy who is 6'1". What? <laughs> this guy is a crappy detective. The guy from 11 is either Peanuts, Romanello, or from Hollywood. Right. If the guy from the size 13 shoes uh, is the guy from Hollywood, then that would stand to reason that size 11 is Peanuts, Romanello. This is hard! <laughs> this is really hard! <laughs> Is there a way to order in food? You can use the phone over there. That's right, I got my partner working on the case. He's solving the clues. While Dolly and I are having a real sweet time together. She's <laughs> one ripe tomato, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yes. Yes, she's got an eye piercing that doesn't go along with the 1940s. You'd think that would get her fired working in a period costume. But apparently they don't care about that kind of thing here. He says he wears the smallest shoe. Therefore, it stands to reason he's not the shortest guy. And we What's know that? that was not Mickey Seaton. Oh, that's just air conditioning. Okay. <laughs> Half of the time has elapsed. What percentage of the tasks have we completed? Um, about 5%. <laughs> I just solved one major problem right here. Check this out. Now you have 10 minutes left. <laughs> been trying to decipher this Morse code they're broadcasting but can't get very far. 
Do both of you need to be working on that right now, or is there something I'll else? assemble the crime scene photos. You do Please that. Please proceed with this. I'm gonna start Peter chewing gum. Separately. Yeah. We need to work in a linear fashion. Let's Each take of a us guess. independently. Two Let's planes. take a guess on who the jewel thief is. And you have to tell us if we're right. Who do you think it is? Mickey Siegel. Is it Siegel? I don't know. Is it Siegel? <laughs> Look, Dame. I'm getting pretty hot and bothered, see? We need answers, see? I need to know who the jewel thief is, see? And I think you know, see? You're not allowed to damage anything in here. Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, I have a cold. <laughs> it's private. Look, there's 300 clams here. In the 1940s, I could buy you a Buick. What can you tell us? I'm serious, this is yours. This is real money. This game is bullshit. This is real money. You, okay, now just tell me, just give us a little bit of help. Just a little bit of help. Here, can you just stuff this down there? That's what they did in the <laughs> God, can I push, push it? Okay, just help us out a little bit. That box over there looks important, though. But that's only, that's only for one of the four numbers. Why do you get physical? There are steps to take the next step. Don't tell that. me how to run my detective agency! <laughs> You're falling apart at the seams. I'm not falling apart! The only one here that really knows what he's doing! Maintain your focus. Airplane. This is a mechanical device. <laughs> it won't reason with logic. You're a mechanical device, and you don't reason with logic. Burn. <laughs> if I tell you something you not tell anybody? Go ahead. I urinated in the file cabinet over there. <laughs> That's a nice clue I left for the next guy. <laughs> Did one of you move that picture over there? It's crooked. Look at this! Anything on that safe? It says, it says square. I've seen that before. Where was the theater? You always you know put what? things down, you don't keep track of it. I put things down and I don't know where they are. You have to maintain focus. You're costing us valuable- Shut up! It's just another puzzle. Another puzzle! <laughs> okay, quick update. Here's where we are. Uh, Jordan uh, did a really good job. He found out uh, that one of the combinations is S T E A L. Uh, I, on my part, just realized that if I throw my belt over the top of that pipe, I can probably hang myself. <laughs> this bullshit is over. So, we're making progress. <laughs> ah! Success. Keys! This might be the final step. Yeah! We did it! We did it! No, Jordan did it. Come here, baby! I don't recommend that. I really... <laughs> Our thanks to everyone uh, who helped us in the escape room. Wonderful, but I, man, I, that wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> It looked like it was really getting uncomfortable, like claustrophobic, being trapped in there. Like I don't think it yeah. was a, like a like a joke for him. I go back and forth on whether I'd like it actually. I think it would be great fun. We've just got to get the right people to go with us. I like problem solving, but I also am pretty impatient nowadays. I think we'd still be okay. We just got to get the right people to go with us. Hmm. I think Stacey'd be good. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. We shall see. Watch this space. Right, cheers for that one, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, as always, and we'll catch up with you very soon. Bye, guys.